What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with the finale of season three of Kuroko no Basket. Today we're doing episode 75 and 75.5. Now, there is still the movie. I have to watch. I'm going to be doing that afterwards. But before that, with the first and last episode of every season of every show we do on the channel, the full length version, which is normally a Patreon exclusive, is available for free for everyone. So click the link in the top of the description. Enjoy your free full length. If you guys enjoy that format and want to consider keeping it for the future, maybe check out that Patreon. You get that, you get early access to movies, shows, everything else. But I am very excited to finish this out with the whole team zone we entered, with Akashi still saying, no, we're not going to beat Rakuzan. This is truly a battle to the end, and I am very excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. Like I said, check out the Patreon. Follow the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all that for Darius. Make sure you guys subscribe and click that notification bell. Let's hop into it. Episode 75. This one's called Again and Again. Here we go. Again and again. Here we go. So we were five points. Now what are we? Eight points behind? Seven. 40 seconds. God damn. Double team in Kagami. No one has an open spot right now. We gotta start doing something. Great pass from Kuroko, hopefully. Beautiful. Yeah, we can't even let them. We have to push them into their side of the court. We can't let them have any freeway, any control. I like that. Let's be quick witted. Okay, Mr. Observ Observatory Man. 10 seconds left. He knows they're going to go for uh, Nebuya. So it's a great steal from Izuki. We need to get fouled and score like a three. We need a four point conversion. I don't know how we're about to do that. And then that only brings us to overtime. He might get a four pointer right here. What is he trying to do the heaven void? He drew and he got the three. That was ginormous. We're going to tie it up, and then, what, there's still three seconds, something like that, on the board? A miraculous four-point play. I like that. That's one thing in terms of a team play game like this, you know. I never am one to self-blame entirely because there's a number of things that multiple people could have done to change the course of this game, you know. Like, yeah, that moment might have been on you, but it's a team game, boy. Come on. Yeah, I didn't even realize that. So making the shot, obviously, for the tie over time, missing it, rebound wins the game. They get it, we lose, we get it, we win. I would be too. The amount of pressure on me, I don't think I'd be able to handle it. If you're one of those people who can remain ice cold in situations of mass pressure, you have my utmost respect. <sighs> I love this man, Kiyoshi. All that's left is to give everything I have, and he ends it with a smile, you know? Whatever happens. My entire being rides on this play. He is the Iron Heart. Three seconds. I think he's going to go for it. I would love for that to happen. Honestly, I love this entire team so much, I would love it for it to be anyone. Kuroko, no basket. Vanishing shot. Akashi can all. 
It was an alley oop the whole time. <laughs> Talk about an ending. Talk about a goddamn way to win it. Kuroko and Kagami too. So this is defeat. Is my man gonna be crying? I'm glad that you're glad, Akashi. You're a very complex character, my man. But at the end of the day... Oh, he is starting to tear up. It hurts, man. See? You were one hell of a... Adversary and one hell of a character, Akashi. And again, and again, and again. God, I love the titles of these episodes. Bro, we won the Winter Cup. Oh, I'm actually crying. Everyone, look, everyone still wants vengeance. They still want to, uh. Woo! This show has had so many good characters. Uh, it sounds like cringy, but. Kiyoshi's one of my favorite characters in the show. Like, I would love a, a teammate, classmate, friend like Kiyoshi, you know? And it's crazy to think he came on like season two, right? Like he was so much later. I love that. Shouts out to the friend. Shouts out to the homie. Yeah, they're leaving, right? So Kasamatsu <laughs> didn't make it in. Damn, man. I'm gonna miss our upperclassmen. That's hilarious. Shouts out to the upperclassmen. I don't want to pause it because I'm, you know, killing the vibe. But can you guys tell me? Because obviously they're setting this up, just showing us the next generation, ending this generation. You know, there's no more Kuroko. This is obviously the end. Is there ever gonna be more Kuroko? Can we can we see next year? Can we see a time skip? Can we see a like? How, I don't know. I just want to see this. I would keep watching the show forever. ああ、ルカモルサキバーへのアナウンス。私は、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
Oh, man, I love that. Of course, of course. Oh, the GOM, the Generation of Miracles, the things that, you know, got Kuroko to where he is now. And then the new picture of, oh, I love that. That is beautiful. Fight! Talk about a great show, man. Talk about a show. All right, time for the epilogue, episode 75.5. This one's called The Greatest Present. Was that the old GOM coach that uh, got injured, right? That had like a disease that had to leave and they had a new coach? That was a great, oh, that was nice. Yeah, good luck with him. You just gotta tell him there's snacks there. Just bring snacks. Kisei just said it nowhere. Next. He will, guaranteed. Then he'll look and you'll see another one who's right. I didn't realize he lived that far from Tokyo. He was like, what the heck? He's like, that sounds like a great time. Kashi? Oh, that's nice. Good rapping, too. Yes, what is it? I thoroughly enjoy Kuroko and Momui's relationship. Oh, Momui, like, you know, has a crush on him, but they're just such good friends. You know Kuroko's gonna rock the shit out of that. He loves it. Come on. Takeo coming in Midorima has to be. Yep. <laughs> so we had to use Takeo to get Midorima here. <laughs> Shouts out Takeo. Happy birthday. This is your uh, Aquarius good lucky item. Good luck charm. Oh, Akashi as well. And you know, uh, Murasaki Bar got a call from Akashi, so. Ohio! I love them outside of their uniforms too, just in their normal, like, clothes, you know, what they would normally just. Playing. Ah, that's a good way to get him to come. Okay. You know, Morisaki Bar is getting that one. I love Almine, but there's just no shot. Talk about a start. Oh, I love this song when they play it. We get to see all the GOMs against each other. I love this. Right? That's the power of Akashi. 
And we've had a lot of uh, development between the characters, you know, because of their limitations against Seireen. So they're all developing as well. I love it. Ooh, that was clean. Nice. I know. Brings back old memories, doesn't it, Momoi? You love to see it. Now, this is the matchup I want. Ooh, I love Kisei and Aomine. Man, seeing where this show started, just making Seireen's High Basketball Club, you know, and getting new members to where we are now. This show is incredible, man. Shouts out to Kuroko No Basket. Ooh, and Himuro. He was trying to come in too. Takei, I was like, I can take you there. <laughs> that man said around here. That's comedy. Alright, now I just love these little 10 minute 3 on 3s, you know. I'm like Momoi. I'm just happy these guys are just together, having a good time, being friends. You think about the old times, you know? Yeah. Bouts out to you, girl. Not a lot of this would be possible without you. You're the unsung hero. <laughs> That's so nice. I love especially because we've had rivals with everyone here. We had issues with everyone here that we're ending the show off with this, you know. Even though we built up Seireen so much, the GOM is still such a huge part of Kuroko's life. Damn, look how drippy they are. They got the fucking wavy fits on. Takeo! Oosh! Heck yeah, the more the merrier. Oh, now we're about to get to chefing it up, huh? Okay, Carpaccio, chill out! What is this, Shokugeki no Kuroko now? Oh, this is lovely. Is this the... I thought the picture we got in the last episode was... Because different chronologically was the one of us winning the championship. But it's this one. Shouts out to Momoi and shouts out to Kuroko. It's the rest of the GOM. <laughs> I love this. All of Seireen with the GOM. Shouts out. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I still don't see it, but hey, I'm the weirdo. Ah, uh, this is the squad right here for sure. If you don't, <laughs> they got a mountain of food for him. Yes. Oh, I <laughs> I love this squad, man. It's gonna be Takeo and Midorima. <laughs> he got the try, <laughs> the tried mushrooms. That's hilarious. Murasaki Bara, Akashi. Who's Akashi talking to? Is that Furihata? Ogane. Number two. Come on. Yeah, you really shouldn't. 
Uh, so that's why in uh, Crunchyroll's order, it wants you to watch this one before the last one, you know? But I had to watch the last one first, you know? I love this squad. And I, like I said earlier, I love how we've had our rivals, the people we've disagreed with, gone against, beat, lost, all that. But they're here celebrating this one because we're all friends, you know? I love that. Wish I had my own little thing. I'd pop it. Happy birthday, Kuroko. Oh, yeah, man. I'm butthurt. That's the end, man. I want so much more. Just got done blowing my nose, wiping the tears from my eyes. Because I gotta say, that was a beautiful finish for Kuroko in a basket. It felt like it, it, it felt like like Hunter Hunter to me. And I'm not gonna spoil Hunter Hunter if you haven't seen it, but it felt like it ended right where it was supposed to, right what it wanted to do, but it's not an ending to the story. Like these characters are gonna live on, they're gonna keep doing more things, they're they're everything's gonna live on, but it's just the story that we told of the winter cup is over. And I can't lie to you. I would love to see more. I would keep watching un undoubtedly. There's no hesitation. But in terms of where it wrapped up from our old rivals to ending it on Kuroko's birthday, him being the man no one sees, to everyone celebrating, everyone wanting to feel happy, to him making everyone else feel connected. And, uh, it is, ooh, it is good shit. It is good stuff right there, I tell you. Oh, shouts out to everyone that showed up. All of Serene. All of uh, the GOM, Momui especially, I called her the unsung hero. I truly believe that. I truly believe we would not be in the situation we're at right now if it weren't for Momui. So, <sighs> and then it obviously makes sense why last episode was different than this episode because last episode, uh, you know, takes technically takes place after this one. Everyone's leaving. We're getting ready for next year. Kiyoshi's gone. We got the pictures hanging up in Kuroko's locker. Oh, it is. Ah, oh, man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. This was a absolutely amazing show. I can't say I have a newfound respect for basketball like I do for soccer from Blue Lock or volleyball from Haikyuu because I already loved basketball beforehand. But this, I don't know. I just love sports anime so much. I love this show so much. I'm very excited. Can't wait for a rewatch one day. I still am going to watch the movie and do that. Very, very much looking forward to that. <sighs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know what other sports anime you'd like me to watch. Everything like that. Check out the Patreon, early access, full length, all that jazz if you already want to watch the movie. Other than that, I appreciate y'all. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. You know, go join a basketball team or something. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.